everyone, and welcome to The Balancing Act. I'm Olga Villaverde. And I'm Montel Williams. Today, we're cruising into an all-inclusive, extra luxurious adventure. Wow, and how to better your credit. Plus, the management of and risk assessment for ovarian cancer. Really important health news for women. So let's get started. The Balancing Act starts right now. Imagine taking that dream vacation, the one you've been looking forward to for years. And best of all, you won't have to worry about a thing. Literally everything will be taken care of. All the conveniences of home, but in extreme luxury. Oh, and did I mention you'll be traveling lavishly on the high seas to amazing ports of call with exquisite cuisine, spectacular views, and incredible entertainment. Okay. Sign me up. Here to tell us more about how you can cruise into your next adventure is Region 7 Seas Cruises President Andrea DeMarco. And later we're going to hear from a very cute couple who has experienced firsthand all that Region 7 Seas Cruises offers. So stay tuned for that. Welcome. Hi. Oh, God. So it's such a pleasure to be here. I'm so excited you're here because I'm. Since I was a little girl, we always went on cruises with my family, my parents, my grandparents, my brother. So I got fond memories. But cruising has changed a lot. And it's still something that's very aspirational. It's very attainable. It's really a great way to see the world, right? It's the best way to see the world. And I'll tell you why. First of all, you unpack and pack once. You get to see multiple destinations in one vacation experience. The value for a cruise is spectacular. It really is. With us, everything's included. And you know what? It's a great way to travel for special occasions with family, right? And you get to see over 500 destinations we sail to. Pick where you want to go. Now, we have a lot to talk about in terms of everything is included. And I'm telling y'all out there, everything is included. But living here in South Florida, you know, we're the gateway to the Caribbean, the port of Miami. We're very blessed to have that here. Tell me what sets Region 7 Seas Cruises apart. So we have been in business for 30 years, building 30 years of unrivaled experiences. And we are the most inclusive and leading luxury cruise line. So there's nobody like us. And when you think of those inclusions, you're right. It's everything's included. You don't have to worry about a thing. For example? So first off, before the cruise, you have business class air on intercontinental flights. Oh business gosh. class air, that's right. Then you have a pre-hotel night stay, free Wi-Fi, free valet laundry, free transfers to and from the airport. And best of all, free shore excursions, over 2,000 to choose from. In every port of call, free shore excursions. You take care of all that for us. Everything. Okay, tell me more luxuries, because I know there's more. So when you think about the ships that we have, we've got a ship, a fleet of five, right? And we have a sixth ship coming, Seven Seas Grandeur. She's going to be here in November in Miami, debuting for the first time. You'll have to come see her. Hello. Yes. <laughs> and when My you... producer's saying, I'm going too. Okay, come. Oh, oh you want to go with me? Everybody She's... can come. Everybody can come. We'll make it a party. But what you can expect when you come on the ship is lavish space, right? Everybody wants space. All of our ships are suites and they're balconies. So you get to view the world from your own personal balcony, taking all those views around the destinations that you're visiting. And think of this, we have the largest suite. It's called the Regent Suite. It's over 40 400 square feet that's, with that's, every luxury included in that's it. That's bigger than my house. I know, and it has its own spa area. So you can have unlimited spa treatments in this spectacular, spectacular space. And I heard in that area, I think there's a butler? There is, yes. Really? A butler, and he'll even unpack for you. No. And repack you. So really, everything is taken care of for me. There's no everything. thinking along everything. the way. Dining is taken care of. All of your beverages and fine wines are taken care of. You name it, it's, it's included. What I personally like about these ships is that they're very intimate. I think that's a good word, but yet spacious. No, absolutely. And so while they are the perfect size, only 750 passengers, that's the largest vessel that we have, but we have unrivaled space at sea on board. Now let's talk about food and drinks because they are always a priority. Number one, number two, food and drinks. Tell me about your offerings. We all need to have amazing cuisine and our ships deliver just that. So we have an Epicurean Perfection program and it's not just the five top class restaurants that are on board the ship, but we want to immerse you to have that culinary experience in the destinations. And guess what? We have a culinary arts kitchen on three of our ships so you can take a cooking class while taking in all the views around you. We have everything from authentic Italian cuisine, to French cuisine. We have a beautiful steakhouse on board, Pan-Asian. You can have a little bit
bit of everything, including fine wines and spirits. Oh my, fantastic. Okay, another thing that's very important to me and the girls, destinations. Talk to me about where we can go, what we can see, and what we can do. There's so many, so you have to cruise every year, multiple <laughs> times to get them all in. So besides the Caribbean living here in Miami, you can go to um, Asia, right? So I'm gonna be traveling to Japan soon, and so that's spectacular, Australia, New Zealand all over Europe, the Mediterranean, Northern Europe. When you think about closer to home, you can do Canada, New England, and even Alaska, which is spectacular. My brother did that cruise like 25 years ago, and he said it was phenomenal. It is phenomenal. And you know what's so exciting for us is that we're bringing the world's most luxurious ship into Alaska this summer for the first time. So you can see Alaska, but in luxury. Oh my gosh, we're gonna become BFFs. Okay, speaking of uh, BFFs, we have this beautiful couple, Irv and Becky and they are loyal Regent cruisers and they just toured the Caribbean on the Seven Seas Splendor. Beautiful. They want to share their experience and I think they had a fabulous time. You ready? Let's check it out. Let's do it. We started 13 years ago, our first trip, and it was to celebrate our birthdays. Since then, 13 years, what, probably two cruises a year? Yeah, at least two. Cruises two cruises a year. At least two. Absolutely fabulous. We came aboard, we treated like kings and queens. The best part of the trip is the ship. And I mean, the food is exquisite, uh, the pool. The service, you know, the ship, the mattresses, the, the help in the, the, the cabin, the butlers, it's just fantastic. And what I like most about the ship, it's first class. It's, they dress the part. I'd say the value for your money is what suits me the best. My favorite thing about Regent, you get everything. And it is the service, it's the friendliness, it's the luxury. There is no comparison to any other kind of vacation. I can't even imagine doing anything but Regent once we started. It's the total package in every way. Oh my gosh, they really enjoyed themselves. They had the most amazing experience. I hear there's artwork also? There is, so we have a multi-million dollar art collection. And when you think of the new ship we're launching this November, Seven Seas Grandeur, it's not uncommon to walk on our ships and see Picassos and Chagalls, right? Really? But on Grandeur, we have the first Fabergé egg designed specifically for Regent Seven Seas Cruises that's gonna reside at sea. Okay, so you're going to Asia soon, right? Yes. How is that gonna be in terms of doing all those destinations over there as well. I know, so what you can do is, and we'll provide this for you a lot of times, is you can extend your voyage, right? So if you're gonna take the trip and you're gonna go all the way to Asia or to Australia, you can do a pre or post land program, right? So you can take more time to see the destinations that you're enjoying. All right, so um, I'm gonna be calling you soon and I may be going to Asia because I have a new BFF and taking my family to Alaska. Let's do it. I'm loving it. All right, for our viewers who'd like more information and to really book that cruise right now, where can they go? So they can visit the website. It's rssc.com slash The Balancing Act. Fantastic, thank you so much. Have a fun time in Asia. Thank you. And I'm, I'm thinking of Alaska. All right, we'll see you there. Thank you so much, appreciate your time. And if you want more information, you can also just go to our website. So easy, thebalancingact.com. Some people need to rebuild their credit after a difficult time in their lives. Is it possible to find a financial second chance? Is there a way to help rebuild that all important credit score after someone falls down financially? Well, the answer is yes. Today we have a leader from Premier Bank Card to help us with some easy to understand ways to help build that credit score back and get that second financial chance. With me is Vesa Ismaili. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for being here because this is really important. There are a lot of people out there who are struggling financially, troubled times, and now the credit score just went down. Yes. Difficult. It, yes, it's actually very common. Over one in three American people have fair or poor credit. Really? But things happen, such as divorce or unexpected medical bills, and it can happen to anyone, even to someone that was very responsible with their finances. People need to remember that a single credit score does not tell your story, nor makes you an irresponsible person. And the good news is we can rebuild it. 
Yes, absolutely. Rebuilding credit is possible. It's just another challenge in life and it needs to be taken with dedication, preparation, and with the right partner. That's what Premier Bank Card is for a lot of people, but there are some things you can do. You can start with a credit card that approves lower credit scores, start with a manageable credit limit, and you can seek opportunities for a credit line increase. If you can do those three things, you are well on your financial credit journey. And I love these bullet points. Find a card that approves lower scores Premier does that. Start with a manageable limit. Increase it as you prove success. All right, so let's go now to maybe someone who has terrible credit scores and they figure, I can't get approved like this. Yes. Options? Yep. And if you're in that situation, really, there is no easy fix. But the good news is there are options. A good option is a secured card. What a secured card is, is that you take a money and you deposit into an account and you use that as your credit line. And then you make monthly payments, which get reported to the credit bureaus. And with Premier, we do offer the secure card and you can get qualified for a regular Premier card. So to summarize, low scores can make approval tough. We know that. Look into a secured card, Premier is one. Once on track, apply for a regular card, which gives everybody some hope. So honestly, I mean, to wrap it all up, we can see here that Premier does give viable solutions. Yes, we do approve people with lower credit scores because we do know that credit cards are a very important component to building credit. We like to say that second chances are our first priority mm -hmm. and we do have an amazing award-winning U.S.-based customer service team who is there to help you along the way. We really got your back and we're here to help. And here it is summed up right now. Premier Bank Card, great solution. You can get a second chance. You can take control. For anyone out there that loves this and wants to take control, where can they go? Uh, they can find us at MyPremierCreditCard.com or in our social media accounts. Great information. Thank you so much. And if you'd like more information on any of this, go to our website, TheBalancingAct.com. Breast and cervical cancer might be more prevalent, but ovarian is the deadliest gynecologic cancer affecting 19,000 women annually. Now, even if initial clinical assessment of an ovarian mass is benign, there is no way to know for sure that a mass is not cancer. Previously, physicians and patients might have felt that the only way to be safe when a woman presented with an ovarian mass was to remove the ovaries. But there is now a non-invasive test that's truly making a huge difference. As Women's Health CEO Nicole Sanford and also gynecologist Dr. Gerard Riley are here with more. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. Yes. All right. I know we're going to get to your personal story and thank you so much for being here, Nicole. But doctor, let's first talk about the importance of early detection, which is huge, and the challenges with it. Well, sure. Early detection is important for all cancers. So for breast cancer and mammograms, that has changed over the years. There's now a newer pap smear that's better for cervical cancer. But in reality, the diagnostic tools for ovarian cancer have not changed throughout my entire career. And many times the decisions, especially for a woman with a mass on their ovary, is driven out of fear. Fear by the patient that this could be an ovarian cancer and fear of the physician that it may increase his risk of missing an ovarian cancer if he doesn't take it out. And so it can change what surgery they do. And for the gynecologist, the easiest thing is just to remove that entire ovary and many times drive that patient into an immediate menopause. Nicole, let me bring you in. Tell me your story and sure. what happened. What, what did you feel? It kind of starts back in 2016 when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, I was lucky in two ways. First, we found it early, and also I had the type of breast cancer that responds uh, well to certain medications that prevent recurrence. So I took that for a number of years. When I went off that medication, my uterus started doing very strange things. Mm -hmm. So we ultimately decided that the safest approach was to remove my uterus. And that started this, what I call the slippery slope of fear, um, which was if we're gonna do that, we might, as, might well as well take your ovaries. You have you know, higher risk because of, uh, of your breast cancer. I was the poster child for surgical menopause within a couple of days, really. I was in um, you know, severe hot flashes, night sweats, um, oh. anxiety, depression. Um, you know, really, I was, a, I was a mess. And now that I've told my story a few times, I find out that we all know someone with a similar story. And, and the, the, the story ends with, oh, I had everything taken out and thank God there was no cancer. 
Um, but I'd like to get to a point where we say we don't take things out if there's no cancer. Exactly. And that's what we're really trying to do here. Doctor, so what options are there? Because obviously early detection is key. Let's talk about these options that you were talking about now regarding a test. Uh, we do have a new option based on the test that's been developed at Aspire called Overwatch. And this test is not for screening. This test is for decision making when we find out that a woman has a pelvic mass. And in Nicole's case, one of her ovaries was enlarged. I'm sure when her doctor looked at her case and said, well, you've had breast cancer, now you're having bleeding issues, one of your ovaries is enlarged, what about the risk for ovarian cancer? Maybe we better just get everything out of there. And as she said, within three days, instant surgical menopause, which is by far the hardest menopause to manage and the most disruptive for so many women's lives. So now with this overwatch test for someone who does have a mass, we can assess the malignant potential of that mass. So Aspira is one of the only companies in the world that's uh, focused exclusively on diagnostic tools for gynecological disease. Uh, and we started with ovarian cancer largely because, as you said earlier, um, it is um, a particularly deadly disease and very, very difficult to detect for a lot of reasons. Um, so this is the, our test, Overwatch, that we launched in December um, is based on 20 years of research and, and data science. It's very exciting to, to bring a new test to market that allows uh, doctors and, and patients to make decisions based on data mm -hmm. and information and not on fear. Uh, so this test is now available for uh, any woman who has an, an exome mass. So doctor, final thoughts, if a woman uh, knows that she's faced with a ovarian mass, how do, how do they ensure themselves to get, you know, the best option for them? Well, I think, you know, in reality, a third of women at some point in their life will be told that they have an ovarian mass. And some of them are clearly benign, some of them are clearly malignant. So the first step is usually to do the ultrasound. So those two are the easiest groups to make a decision on. But the group in the middle, which is the vast majority of them, have a mass that is a little bit borderline or indeterminate, as we call it, and to try to make an objective decision. And that's really the advantage of the Overwatch, is you can do this test, and if it's someone who just started law school or has young children, maybe just got a promotion at work and the timing isn't great for surgery, even though she's going to need surgery, she's not feared into stopping her life and proceeding with the surgery and possibly leave, losing one or both ovaries. And the doctor isn't worried that he's missing a cancer and being cavalier letting this patient wait because that's what she says fits her life. So important, Nicole. I mean, we can't go back in time, but we certainly can look forward, right? Right, right. Listen, there's no villains here. Doctors have had the tests and the tools that they've had. Um, but happily, we now have better technology. So I've made it my life's work to make sure that this technology uh, and technologies like it for other gynecological diseases are, uh, are available to women and to healthcare providers uh, so you know uh, it, I guess it's the uh, the um, the mission that I was driven to as a result of my story Nicole for our viewers who'd like more information where can they go well first and foremost they should talk to their doctors uh, if their doctors are not familiar with the test or if they want to learn more they can go to our website uh, aspirawh.com thank you doctor thank you for the valuable information and good luck to you thanks thank for you everything. so much All right. and if you'd like more information as always go to our website thebalancingact.com we'll be right back Well, thanks so much for joining us today. Remember to head to our Facebook page, like us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, and visit thebalancingact.com to enter our latest sweepstake or giveaway. Absolutely, and be safe. Love it, family viewers. We'll see you next time.